The meaning of beating a dead horse is the act of continuing an endeavor that has ultimately become pointless. To Ross, you hate the new art style. We get it. No need to continue beating a dead horse. Well, dear viewer, I've been kicking this horse corpse for so long that my foot is swollen and broken beyond repair. If any of you are wondering what I'm talking about, you can check the link below to videos where I talk about why the new Halo art style is generally disliked. But the thing is, I can obviously joke about how often I discuss the new Halo art style and music. It's not out of hatred for Halo, it's the opposite. I want to see Halo 6 become a success, and the best way for it to do so is, in my opinion, if we bring up the issues with Halo 4 and 5 so that 6 doesn't suffer from their faults. I do it because I want to see 343 succeed, not because I have some kind of vendetta against them and I want to see them fail. Now a certain little game called Halo Wars 2 is releasing in less than two weeks and man it looks so much like a Halo game. Reception to the art style being used is overwhelmingly positive, and the general consensus among people who dislike the new look of Halo or have lost interest in the series after Reach is that this is the most Halo-looking game the series has seen in years. Why has the response been so positive? What is Halo Wars 2 doing so right that Halo 4 and 5 did so wrong? In order to understand some of the smart things that Halo Wars 2 is doing, we need to get a few last good kicks into this goddamn horse before we can cart it away because it's starting to smell, and I think everyone would agree it would be better if we just buried it already. Halo is a franchise spent over a decade establishing a look for itself, a visual style that even though aesthetics would change with each game in the series, those aesthetic changes followed the rules Halo had set for itself on how the series should look. When 343 took over the Halo series, they've made a noticeable attempt to redesign as many aspects of Halo's art style as possible. It ranged from small details that aren't really that big of a deal, to bizarre choices that arguably made less sense and took away from the look of Halo. And seeing as some of these designs are beloved by many, it really is strange that they would choose to take something so recognizable and just decide it's no good anymore and they need to completely radically redesign it. If it's fear that the classic Halo art style isn't holding up, Halo 2 Anniversary certainly disagrees. Halo 2 Anniversary showed us that the old art style still looks great and fine today. Arguably, Halo 2 Anniversary was artistically and visually more striking than most shooters on next gen, which all follow the same formula for sci-fi futuristic warfare art styles. Is that to say innovation shouldn't be allowed? No, nobody's saying that. Absolutely no one has said that. Innovation is good, but it has to be organic and not just be changed because it's time to look completely different. Halo 4 and 5's Elite seem to be the poster boy for the issues people have with the new look of Halo. Inspired by the slender, snake-like xenomorphs of the Alien series, Bungie designed the Elites to be long, slim, and incredibly agile and cat-like in their movements. To contrast the Elite's slim and snaky presence, the Brutes were big, loud, thunderous, and quite frankly, disgusting and ungraceful in every sense of the word. In a 1v1 fight, an elite would be able to coil its way around you and take you down so fast you wouldn't even know the fight began, until your body hit the floor due to how precise, quick, and silent every one of this elite's movements were. The brutes would probably just grab a nearby rock and beat you over the head and continue to smash your corpse until nothing is left but a gooey, bloody mess, snarling, yelling, and stomping around as he did it. With Halo 4 and 5, the Brutes didn't return, and to be honest, why would they need to at this point? The once honorable, intelligent, graceful elites are now depicted as lumbering, heavy, slow, monstrous. Just like their mortal enemies, the Brutes. Their voices are as deep and heavy as the Brutes. The young boy are resistant. The young boy are resistant. Throw the young boy out the air. 
Their movements are as uncalculated and clumsy as the Brutes, and even in-game outside of the cutscenes, you see them moving around a lot less in the gameplay, probably because honestly, it would look odd to see these heavy troll-like character models dancing around the field with the grace of an old elite. The new art styles seem to have missed the point of the elites, and honestly, the point of Halo. That being said, while well, the new art style is disliked, and in my opinion for good reason, like all arguments, there are two sides. The new art style does have its fans who like many aspects of it and do make strong arguments for why they like it. An argument for a change in the art style of a certain species I can respect is the argument for the new jackals. While Bungie had the jackals sporting very avian and bird-like features, the new jackals sport many reptilian features and honestly seem to be almost like a response to real-world discoveries in how dinosaurs used to be a lot more avian and bird-like than we previously thought. Ultimately, we have an issue here. A new art style was introduced and it intruded and replaced the old art style, even if it means redesigning already existing characters and things to fit this new art style such as the Arbiter or the Forward Unto Dawn and all of its Halo 3 era equipment in Halo 4. One could make the argument that 343 wouldn't have needed to use a new elite design for the Arbiter in Halo 5 to save on resources if they just made all the Halo 5 elites look like traditional elites, but then wouldn't that make us just as bad as the management and artists pushing this new art style on us? Because it does have its fans that don't want to see it go, so here we are. Two sides, two art styles. Which one is going to stay and which one is going to go? Well see, this is where Halo Wars 2 comes in. When Halo Wars 2's first E3 trailer was shown, I was surprised, actually surprised. 343 had gone to such lengths to not use Halo's old art style, even if it meant breaking canon, that I just assumed Halo Wars 2 would use this new art style as well. You know what? I'm just gonna let this little Reese's ad explain. Hey! Hey, you got your chocolate on my peanut you got butter! peanut butter on my chocolate! What? That's right, terrible actors. What people liked about the new and old art styles have been seemingly blended into something beautiful. As more trailers and the betas themselves were released, it really set in. They're actually doing it. They're actually respecting the original art style after all these years. And most importantly, they're not just keeping it, they're innovating it properly this time. The elites look like actual elites again, but they don't look like the elites we fought in previous games before. The grunts, they're back to their normal selves, but just for the fans of the new grunts, those guys have been thrown out. Yeah, the old and new grunts are in the game fighting side by side together. We see the original Pelican finally back in action, but not alone as 343's take on the Pelican remains in the game as well. As I watched these trailers and played these betas, I could feel my inner child bouncing up and down, something Halo hasn't been able to do for quite a while. Halo was finally feeling like Halo again. Now Halo's story is currently in a bit of a rut, so we're gonna have to wait till the final game comes out to see how the story is, but as for the look of the game, I'm absolutely on board and I hope that this look and visual style carries on into Halo 6 and future Halo games, cause honestly, it's just simply Halo. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Remember to share it around if you enjoyed it and comment below on some other aspects of Halo Wars 2's art that you like or maybe even some things that you disagree with. Just let's have discussions in the comments section below and I'll see you guys on the next video.